Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jamarley and today I'll be showing you this 2015 Ram 1500 Outdoorsman 4x4 in bright white. Starting up here at the front of the vehicle you will see your quad halogen headlamps that are uh, bent around more to the side in order to increase peripheral light as well as your fog lamps down there at the bottom ensuring that you won't get lost in the dark. I also want to point out that in the front you have your front towing hooks and as well it's paired with your 5.7 liter Hemi power engine making sure that you can tow out any of your other Chevy or Ford truck friends out of the ditches when they're stuck. This engine is powerful as well as it keeps uh, great on the fuel economy. Down here we have our 17 inch completely aluminum alloy rims wrapped in our Goodyear Wrangler tires. Coming up here to the side of the vehicle you have your uh, breakaway head, your breakaway mirrors not headlamps that actually um, move out of the way in the case of a minor accident ensuring that you won't have to replace them because they'll just move out of the way. Now let's step inside. Now we're about to step inside this Ram 1500. On the remote, I just want to quickly show you it's the panic, your unlock, and your lock button. It's great for your remote entry and all you have to do is tap it once to unlock the whole vehicle. And you open up the door here, you'll see your uh, mirror, power mirror controls, power window controls, and your power locks. This door has a great amount of storage. You can also have your water bottle holder and a cup holder here, as well as one of your cabin speakers. Coming into the left side of the steering wheel, you will notice that we have our headlamp controls. Um, you can also set it on auto and forget it, and they will adjust according to the brightness of the day. As well, they'll turn on and off with the vehicle, which is a really great function. Here we have our our park brake release, our park brake, as well as our hood release to see our 5.7 liter heavy powered engine. Now I'm just going to climb in, so just bear with me for a moment. I'm going to put the key in the ignition. Oh, if I can get it in. And here we'll see our tachometer and our speedometer both on the left and the right of this digital display in our cluster. It's currently showing the direction that we're facing, it's showing that we have a message in our message board, it's showing the temperature outside, and our uh, speedometer in digital display currently. This vehicle only has 28,363 kilometers on it, so it's a great uh, kilometers on this vehicle. We're also in zero kilometers, but it can quickly change to miles per hour whenever you're crossing over the border to get a little bit of shopping done. Here you'll see vehicle information, this vehicle information covers things like transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil life, etc. You also have your fuel economies, your trip information, your trailer towing, and in the messages board right now it's saying that our oil change is required, but it also alerts you of things like uh, changing your airbags, servicing your airbags, etc. Coming down to the steering wheel, you'll notice that we have our buttons here to control that digital display, as well as your voice recognition controls, which actually connect via Bluetooth to your phone. It'll allow you to answer your phone calls, respond to your text messages, while keeping your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road, which means you're more safe, you're legal, and it's just better. Here on the left side, or sorry, the right side, we'll see your cruise control settings, as well as our manual gear shifting in this automatic transmission vehicle. Here we have our e-shifter dial, as well as your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive low, four-wheel drive lock, and neutral button. Below that is a DC plug. Here in the center we have a 5.0 Uconnect screen. You can actually connect to Sirius satellite radio, which is actually a really great function. You can connect to other mobile media devices via USB, auxiliary, or Bluetooth, as I mentioned before. You can pair your phone, like I mentioned, you can look at a compass, have other customizable settings, and we can also just turn it off. Below that we have our climate control settings, our towing brake settings, our to attraction control towing and haul, and below that we have this nice shelf to keep some stuff storage, a USB power outlet, great for keeping your phone charged, two large glove compartments. As well as in the center, we have three large cup holders for those Slurpees on a bright summer day. Here you have your um, change collector, your DC plug, and, an, and your auxiliary jack USB port. And the center console magically turns into your sixth seat in this cabin, allowing you to carry that extra passenger. Up above, we have that control for our sliding window in the rear. And now, let's step around to the back. 
Here in the back seat of the vehicle, you'll notice that you have your uh, power window control in the door as well as a great amount of storage and one of your cabin speakers. Now this is a full size door, which means that we are looking at a crew cab back here, which means there's a great amount of leg room and there's still a great amount of space underneath the seats for storage. As well, there's your set your cup holders in the center, and under these mud, uh, these mud mats, you can just fold it up, and it'll reveal um, storage compartments in the floor on both sides of the vehicle. You just open up that latch, and you pull this out. It's actually a removable insert, so you can take it out. You can clean it as well. You can use it to store. Um, keep documents safe and hidden away, or you can use it as a cooler for your beverages. Coming around to the back, here you'll see your large box. It already has a liner in it, so you're not going to worry about installing one of those. Opening it up, you'll see that it's nice and spacious, great for those weekend projects or helping your friends move. Closing that up, you'll see our both our four pin and our seven pin towing hitch hookups, as well as your factory installed towing hitch. Thank you so much for doing this quick walk around of this 2015 Ram 1500 Outdoorsman 4x4 in bright white. I hope you'll come down to Maple Ridge Crescent to check out this vehicle or other new and used options. Remember, we're closer than you think. Bye-bye.